Today I want to show you a bad boy charger that I built for charging up my pack that's inside the electric vehicle. The components are really pretty simple so it shouldn't be too hard to uh, explain this to everyone very quickly. Uh, here's the, the bad boy charger I built which is basically uh, this is just the plug that I plug into the wall okay, via an extension cord. Uh, so, but it's easier. It's in the case, so it's short, so I don't have to carry around the extension cord with it. Then, uh, in the top part here of the case, you can see I have two uh, battery connectors here, which I put onto the most negative and most positive in the string. So I have positive and negative, negative and then positive, and then I also have a GFI switch, which the GFI switch. Um, takes the AC and if there's a ground fault it will shut off so you can also use this as an on off I just flip that push the button down if I want to turn it off if I'm over by the unit when it's on um, I'm going to open this up and show you the internal components of this the wiring is a little tight so I can't open it all the way but you can see down in here there is a bridge rectifier and the bridge rectifier is here uh, you can see it You can see it right there. What that does is takes the AC and converts it to DC. Oops. So it converts it to uh, DC power. The DC power coming out of that into the battery pack is about 130 volts. If you look at the, um, this is a inductor, which is a wound inductor, and you can basically wind that yourself out of a 60 uh, hertz um, transformer. Um, I just got mine from a friend of mine, so I just uh, used that, so I didn't have to worry about winding it myself, but I heard it's pretty easy to do. I haven't actually done it, but that's the uh, the way it works. And then out of that DC goes straight into the, the battery pack. So that's how that works. Uh, it's really very simple. You can add other features. You can add timers onto it if you want to, to be very specific when it goes on and off. Um, you can add in... Uh, an extra fuse or two if you want. You can add in, oh, and I put a heat sink at the bottom of that. I don't know if you could see it, but uh, there's a metal plate, uh, aluminum plate at the bottom of that, so that'll take the heat because the inductor and the bridge rectifier do get hot. I temperature tested it, and it went up to about 138 degrees. So it's pretty, pretty hot, but I figured it was not unbearable to be in the box. So if need be, I will mount the fan on the side. I'll put a I'll put a fan right here on the side, so it will blow air in directly onto the uh, the inductor coil. So, but it's really easy to set up. So, I'll show you how that works. Um, you can take the box, you can bring it over to the EV. You can just take it over here. I'm going to end up eventually using this in a different way. <coughs> so permanently mounted in the vehicle, but for now it's just a temporary solution. But it's a, a neat one, so it's easy to do. If you take these these plugs out, untwist them here. And plug them into the most positive and the most negative. So here I have the most negative. I took the controller out here for the repair that I'm doing and then I'll put it back later. But Put this on the most positive, which is here. That will be the most positive spot. So I have the most negative attached here, and the most positive attached here, and I have the plug here, which I'll plug into the extension cord, which is here. And oops, it's not plugged in over at the the other end. So, I'll plug it in real quickly here, and, and you can hear it humming. So you can hear the power going out of the unit. And if I want to turn it off, I can just press the switch, the GFI, and it goes off. So that's the uh, the bad boy charger. So my pack right now is 100 and it's really 90, 96 volts. 
I'll be probably adding in another couple batteries, but at the moment I only have 96 volts. Um, but I charge it up, it goes up to about 114 or so, and then settles back down at 104. So that's about 13 volts of battery, so it works out pretty well. But uh, I recommend you do it. It's easier than buying a big, expensive one. It costs you probably a minimum of $500, and this thing cost me to build. I think it was 6 bucks for the uh, toolbox. Uh, I don't remember how much the GFI was, probably 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. Uh, the wiring I took off something else that I had, those clips I already had from a, an inverter that I had, an old inverter that I had a while ago, and then the inductor I think was, you know, that was about 50 bucks if you buy it, if you can find one. You have to rewind it, you get a transformer for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, rewind it. Bridge rectifier I got off eBay for like 10 bucks. So all these things were pretty cheap, so all together I think I spent probably maybe 70 bucks total. I don't think it would be that much. Um, but I got some of the parts just because I had them laying around. So anyway, that's the case, and that's the uh, bad boy charger.